Hey, it's Mark coming to you from Baker Street Acres. I'm out starting my uh, my daily ritual of feeding the animals, pigs, and uh, I'm coming up on the pen that we put Manny into. Manny the misogynist. And uh, I'd kind of like to show you that he's been in there, well, I guess he's been in there one week today. Today's Monday. And uh, show you how he's he's getting along. <laughs> oh, here he comes, right up to the fence. Well, he's still jumping on girls. Okay. That's him right there, that swallow belly right in the front. He just touched the electric fence, too. Maybe it gets him going. But see, that's uh, part of their mating dance right there when they... They do that move there, that fancy footwork with his front hoofs. And now he's, you know, a little foreplay. Yeah. But he's been a busy boy. He's, he's really been busy. So, at this point we know that there was nothing wrong with him. It, it would appear that the other, the sow that's up at Randy's, had some sort of uh, hang-ups. I don't know what you'd want to call it, but she just would not stand for him. Who knows? She might be out protesting someplace. But here's the situation here. There's only a small group here they have that structure right there but they slept right there what I did was I dropped them a bale and um, usually what they'll do is they'll go and they'll they'll haul it down there and they'll make their own beds down there but these guys have been doing other things I think so they didn't get to the work that they needed to. The ones that did are down there asleep and aren't even coming out to get food. This time of the year, the January blahs, we're very lucky to have any, any light today, you know, blue sky or anything like that. It's going to be quite overcast the rest of the day. But uh, all the animals put in a pretty good day of sleeping and they sleep all night very soundly uh, eating is not really their thing this time of the year well that's more along towards spring they'll really get pretty hungry and they seem to get really hungry in the fall too and I think that's because of somewhere back in their lineage maybe they did hibernate like a bear I don't know just speculating but I know that we have a tendency to go to bed earlier and sleep later in the winter time, especially this time of year. And then spring, we are up real early and kind of stay up late too. So uh, I think we get in the same sink as the animals. But he's doing okay. I think he's going to be a good boar to have around. He's got good lines on him and um, I just would like to explain a little bit about the breeding you may have noticed that in that pen we have blondes as well as uh, brindles and you know he's a swallow belly so again I'm not really I'm not in the breeding stock business so I'm concerned with the way the uh, the carcasses look after they're you know after they're processed so like when the clothes are off that's what we're interested in we're in the meat business meat production business so I don't I'm not concerned with breeding a swallow belly with a with a blonde and you know I people do get concerned about it but let me just explain the, their reason for getting excited about it is because they're trying to keep a breed line looking a certain way and that's totally understandable that's a you know like you do that in dogs as well or any other animal 
But when you're looking for just strictly performance, like our dogs, um, we want them to be able to uh, handle the, the animals and handle the predators. So I'm not really concerned with registration papers or anything like that because it doesn't really doesn't prove anything it doesn't prove how they're going to perform what what will prove how they perform is you know if someone's going to buy one of our dogs they can come and see how the parents perform and then the little dogs run after them and that's how you get a better idea um, and in this case like meat production, uh, you want to look at how the carcasses grade out, and you know if you're looking for fat, then this is your pig. But then a qu the question is, you're going to weigh fat production with lean production. You're going to weigh the fat production against uh, the litter size. And also the the durability of the animals. You know, like if if I was raising say white pigs out here like Yorkshires, there's no way I could do this because they can't handle these temperatures. It's seven degrees right now, and these animals you wouldn't even know that it's seven degrees out. I mean, it's just it's like a spring day to them. And even me, I'm used to it by now too. When winter started and it would be down to 28, I'd be like, wow, it's cold out. Now, barely put my long johns on. <coughs> All right, well, that's that. It's Mark Baker's Green Acres. Got to finish my feeding. Remember, anyone can farm. <laughs>